Hi, 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 it's Mrs. Stitches. Today is Flossmas Day 9. Oops, 9, 9, 9. <laughs> and today's little ornament, it's Santa. Santa. He actually has a magnet on the back, but I don't have anything mag anything metal around here. So he'll just lean up here next to the gnome like Santas do. <laughs> Okay, so this will be a quick one because we have to um, go somewhere. And uh, so I'm just trying to get, and I slept in. I'm tired this morning. I don't know why, but I'm tired this morning. So first I'll just show you the stitching from yesterday. This is the Modern Folk Embroidery Countdown Sal with Evertotes and Leo Roxy. Uh, or Roxy Fosco, and that was day eight. So today I'm gonna have for day nine stitch this. Uh, I think it's like 318. It's just a very light gray. It looks similar to the, the sage that I did before, except it's gray. So that's gonna be nice. It'll actually go well with that sage. The, they're similar but not quite the same. Oh, and I'll get out the uh, advent calendar and I'm looking for day nine. Oh, here it is. It's a figurine. I think there's still some I haven't gotten yet. Looking at the pictures on the cover. Oops, that didn't work. It, oh, it's a double decker box, I believe. Ha <laughs> ha Look at that. Ah, oh, is that ever neat? A little double decker. <laughs> that is so cute. Awesome. Well, that just brightened my day. <laughs> so, um, just a quick little story, because I think I'm only at about two minutes. Um, Last, yesterday, I was sitting there stitching away, and Bond, who you met a couple of days ago, uh, he likes to wander around, and he likes to chew things. He likes to get in trouble, and he's been very attracted to, um, we had some stuff underneath, uh, it was pack, uh, boxes uh, that we had packed and moved and hadn't unpacked yet, and um, he got into it, and he tore out all the wrapping paper and I glanced in I thought it was usually it's all like glass stuff and it's not you know nothing that he actually can do any harm because he likes to chew up books he likes to chew up anything wood uh, cardboard uh, he already shredded all the cardboard to get into this box and so I I had glanced and I thought there was nothing bad he could get into so I had been letting him do that until he annoyed me and then I would get him down and so I was working away and all of a sudden I hear that crashing, breaking sound that is almost recognizable as soon as you hear it because it was an ornament. It turned out that in this box, it was all my husband's stuff, there was a beautiful old fashioned ornament which I think he probably had with him for a long, long time all broken bond had picked it up out of the box and just dropped it down and uh, oh my heart kind of broke over that and it was just gorgeous and has anybody else had any experiences with pets breaking a, a precious ornament or something that they they really like you can't get mad at the pet because they don't really they're just doing what they do naturally but you just kind of go oh you know, and ornaments break so easily, but that was from a little bit of height that he dropped it down. But anyways, um, that was sort of, uh, yeah, it, oh, what can you do? What can you do? Um, it's amazing that any of the old ornaments have actually survived considering how fragile they are. But, uh, that's, that's just my little Christmas thing. So I do have to go. Um, we got a busy day ahead of us and we got a busy day tomorrow. Tomorrow's video 
will most likely be late if not on Sunday it might be on Sunday I will film it tomorrow I just may not get it uploaded so just tomorrow is the finals for curling and today we're thinking of going down just for one draw and then coming back um, but uh, tomorrow will be gone for the day and the final I think final final is at 3 30 or something or it's late it's going to be really late coming home we might not get home till 9 p.m but i will film somewhere and i will upload sometime <laughs> there's there's some solid um vague uh information that i really didn't need to say <laughs> i'm tired so i'm gonna go now because this is just the way it is so Take care, everybody, and we'll see you sometime tomorrow.